Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to unbox the magnificent Humby Railroad A1 Peppercorn Class Tornado. Let's get it unboxed. Now the box is in alright shape, considering I got it on uh, eBay. Yeah, let's get it out. Right, so here it is, out of the packaging. Let's take this bit of plastic off. Right, inside the box, there is your um, extras pack, which consists of some undercarriage stuff and some vacuum pipes, which you can optionally fit after you got the loco out. Let's take the, lo the, the tender out first, if it's easier. There you go. I'm going to review it in more detail in a minute. Just put that there. And, of course, the loco, if I can get it out. Right, okay, now I'm going to switch background and we'll review some of the special features and extra stuff. Right, okay, let's move on to the special features and optional extras and detail of the tender. So, here we have the BR British Railway Crest, very nicely, um, in, very nicely um, put on the tender, must say. Uh, great striping going around the, the side of the tender very good as well right let's move on to the back here we have the zen or n or z cup i forgot what it's called please tell me if you know what it's called great molded detail for the steps down here absolutely great buffers are metal but not sprung what can you expect really it's a railway model vacuum pipe yep yeah. Again, one of your extras that you get in your extras bag, but great to be fitted already. Let's move around to the other side. Here we have the coupler, which you connect your tender to the loco. Uh, great coal, I must say, oh, just here, if you can see that. It, it's really great. Right, let's move around to the other side. It's pretty much the same as before. But, again, great how they've put the detail onto the tender. Right, let's move on to the top. Here we have great detailed coal. Could be better, but won't knock them for that. Great. Here we have the water filler. Absolutely fabulously moulded detail there. Really good, must say. Right, that's all for the tender. Let's move on to the locomotive. All right, here she is. Isn't she gorgeous? Here we have, uh, on this side, the fabulous linkage. Really good, must say. Absolutely great. Uh, on other extras in the wheel arches, they're very well moulded into the plastic, as this is, of course. Uh, also, it's specific, because it's 262. Um, Two no two six four or four six two which other way which other way it is right let's move on to the front as you can see here the running number six zero one six three this is an A one peppercorn class so that is the number <laughs> you have buffers again not sprung as seen on the tender but still absolutely great now there is a gap there don't know if you can see that. That is for the optional extra of the vacuum pipe, which is in the, the, the bag, of course, for the optional extras, if you want to fit that. I'm not, because it's a bit too fiddly for me, plus don't want to break it. Right, let's move on to the rear of the locomotive. Inside, you can see your cab, obviously. Not the, not the best cab detail, must say, but it's still good, nonetheless. Right, let's move on to... The side, this side, and just look. If you look there, you can see the uh, the glazed windows. Now I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there, but it's there nonetheless. So it's all right. Let's move on to the top of the loco. Here we have the smoke box, obviously very well moulded as usual by Hornby. Good standard. Right, as we move further along here, you can see. 
the lines and the orange painting for the for the boiler really nicely done because it's not like just painted on it's raised as well so when you rub your finger across it it's really good here we have this dome which i'm not sure what it does but it's a dome nonetheless but it's very well very well put on here we have the two safety valves here and of course the whistle just one more point on this side which i forgot to mention there is a handrail running across it separately fitted very very good job right let's get it on the track and see how she runs now, as you can see i've got it on the track and my god it looks absolutely fabulous uh it's a really good runner i've run it before before this video and i've noticed that when you, you put the uh the controller wheel all the way down it doesn't just go boom and stop it just kind of rolls in and i'll demonstrate that when we get it running so let's get it running now as you can see i'm gonna fire it up there you go uh it's running now Sorry, it's bad. Focus. Okay. This point here is really giving me some trouble. It's derailed twice. It's absolutely great though. This model it's really well. I recommend it. Leave it running for a little bit more. All right, this uh, model doesn't have tender pickups, so that's why it kind of derails sometimes when you go over some points. But other than that, it's absolutely fantastic. All right, let's stop her there then. And now I'm going to demonstrate the um, the stopping of this loco because it's it's got a thing where the flywheel carries on going when you put the um, the wheel down. So let's demonstrate that for you. try and see if you can see it so right for it three two one and so it kept moving there i'll try and show it to you once more so it comes and See that? See, so yeah, that's a very, very, very good design feature on that. So, I'm going to come to the end of this video. I highly recommend this. Oh, crocky. <laughs> I highly recommend this model. It only costs me 40 quid. So, that's on eBay. But it's well worth the money. It's absolutely amazing. So, if you watch this, um, that is my review on the Hornby A1 Peppercorn Class Tornado. So, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Feel free to give it a like, or, or you can even subscribe if you want to. So, I'll catch you again next time, guys. Bye-bye.